Facebook, um, my connection is weak. Weak. And I hope that worked. So, coming from coming to you guys from a different place tonight. Usually we're downstairs, and I thought I'd change it up. Sitting in our living room tonight, a little comfy on the couch. Um, so it is just me tonight. Thomas is out working at the cheese melt. And tonight I wanted to talk to you guys uh, briefly about knowing your why. And the reason knowing your why is so important is because if you know your why and you're passionate about it, then you will be able to overcome any excuse any reason why you feel that you can't, that you feel you can't succeed at something, that you, let me, I'm going to turn on this light very quickly, I thought that it would get more light, um, there we go, that's better, um, any reason that you feel that you can't succeed or that you, you know, can't even try, really, you know, you give yourself excuses that you can't even attempt something because your reason for doing it, you don't really, you're not passionate about the reason you're doing it. So, or you, you haven't really figured out why you're doing it. So knowing your why, very important. So for us, our why, and we have many, <laughs> you don't have to have just one reason why you're doing something. There can be many. And one of the reasons why we chose to take advantage of this opportunity, and I know I talked about this briefly before, but for financial reasons. And that's usually one of the bigger reasons why people, you know, take advantage of a new business opportunity or whatnot. But, you know, we, um, we were tired of having the same conversations. We were tired of always having, you know, always talking about financial problems that we were having, you know, wondering, you know, where are we get, where's the money going to come from? You know, how are we going to make enough money to pay bills? You know, we never felt like we could just get ahead um, from month to month. And I know that that's how a lot of people live. They live, you know, paycheck to paycheck. And that was something that we were just tired of doing. We didn't want to have to not do things so we could afford to, you know, buy groceries or, you know, pay our bills. You know, it was like we were only living our life half, halfway. And we didn't want to have to do that. You know, who really wants to live their life like that, not taking advantage? advantage of opportunities and new experiences because you just can't afford it, you know, and that's not how we wanted to be. We didn't want to have to miss out on opportunities. Um, and, but we also didn't want to, you know, Thomas worked for the oil and gas. And when he did that, he, you know, made good money, but he was never home. So we didn't want to have to sacrifice time together just to have a little more money. You know, we, we wanted to, we knew that we could create a life that gave us both time and money, but we needed help figuring that out. And so when this opportunity came along and, you know, we, we had our times where we were just, we had our doubts, you know, we, we wondered if this was really what, you know, the opportunity for us. And we talked about it a lot. And we decided when we really knew our why, you know, we had talked about it and we knew that we just didn't want to have to live our life like this anymore. And amongst other reasons that we knew that we needed to take advantage of this. And so once we knew our why, it made every other excuse you know, seem like unimportant, like we could get over it. We can move past those excuses. They, the excuse 
wasn't as strong as the reason why we were doing it. So, you know, and another, another thing that, or another reason why we choose to do what we did um, is because we wanted to, you know, share these values, our knowledge and whatnot with our children. We wanted to help them to create a life where they were, you know, self-reliant. They were, you know, they were confident and they dreamed big and they didn't let excuses from themselves or other people stand in their way. We want them to, you know, grow, have passions, to create a life where they're excited to live. And I know that all of our parents want that for us, but, you know, it's the few who are able to actually get it. And we wanted to make sure that our children would be able to, to get there. And they will. Um, so, like I said, knowing your why, extremely important. Um, it will just, you know, get you to where you want to go. Um, help you move past that disappointment. Because disappointment comes. In a book I read from uh, by Robert Kiyosaki, he said that the reason that successful people get to where they are is because they're able to overcome their disappointment. Because we all have expectations when we start a business. And you set goals, and you don't always meet those goals, but it's being able to get past that disappointment that helps them to succeed, to get where they want to be because it doesn't stop them. They don't quit. They keep going because their why, why they're doing it is so much more powerful than that temporary setback. They can, they're able to think about their why and re-motivate themselves and to just get back to it because failures and disappointments are temporary very temporary. You can either keep going or you can quit. You're not going to stay there forever. But if you quit, then you'll never know what could be. You know, I I saw this cartoon online and it was this picture there was um it was of two men, you know, picking away underground at a mine. I guess it, they were looking for a bunch of diamonds and you see the one guy's about halfway there and the guy on the bottom is like almost like one pick strike away from hitting this room of diamonds and he just, you see him turning around and giving up. I mean, he was literally one stroke away from reaching his goal and you just, you never know when it's going to be, but you just have to keep going. And like I've said, if you know your why, if you know why you're doing it, then any excuse to stop and turn around, I mean, you won't. You won't because you're, motiva you're motivated enough to keep going because of your why. Seriously, it just, it has to, I heard somebody say once, your, your why has to make you cry. I don't know if it necessarily has to make you cry, but it really has to get, get at you. You know, it has to make you, get, get you right in the feels. <laughs> And, you know, it, it, you know, when you get through those bad times, when you go through the struggle, that you can rely on it to pull you through. So, you know, if, you, if you're looking to start something new and you're not sure if it's for you, take a second and think about why you want to do it. And if you're why is stronger than your excuse as to why you shouldn't do it, then it might be something you should take advantage of. And so, um, so do that, you know, if you're, if you're seriously considering like why, if you're in a position where you're not happy with how things are and you feel like you need to make changes, Think about that. Think about your why. Why do you want to make those changes for yourself? What are you trying to get out of it? Is it is it worth it? And if the answer is yes, then 
you have your answer. So that's what I wanted to tell you guys today, talk to you guys about tonight. Um, so I guess if you guys found value out of this, please like, comment, or share. Tell me what you think. We love feedback. So um, anyways, I guess have a good rest of the evening and we will talk to you guys tomorrow. We actually will both be on tomorrow night, hopefully if everything goes as planned. Um, nobody gets sick or anything. Uh, so, all right. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.